What's going on? It's FA Globe. I'm on the flip side. 270 Rucker. And I'm here with Young Breezy. And we on 40 on Pump 4. For sure. Hey, 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 fuck it. I'm gonna pop it. It don't take too much. You always rapping about them racks with shit. I ain't made enough. Bitch, I'm paranoid. Clutching my gun when I'm waking up. I don't duck smoke. I'm a pop smoke shit. I'm gonna shake it up. What's going on, world? It's another fucking episode of 40 Young Pump 4. And I'm with my very, very, very special fucking yes, guest. Sir. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let him know what's going on with you. It's FA Globe. I'm on the Flip side, man. Y'all know what's going on with me. <laughs> Mr. Half a fucking glove. Look, I've been a fan for like five, six years. Yeah, okay. Like, I, I, I've been a fan. Like, I can vouch, I can vouch. I, you can vouch. Can man, vouch. folks knowing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the work ethic. I love the growth that I I've seen. That. You know so, what I'm saying? That, right too. that shit is just too fucking hard. How did you get started? To be honest with you, shit, I've been rapping since a kid, you know what I mean? I was rapping yeah. when I started, I probably started around nine years old. I was recording on my daddy cassette tapes. I think he had like them old joints like Al Green, shit like that. And I'll bust some bitches in the radio, hit rewind, then hit record, and I get to rapping on that shit, man. It's just shit like that. But uh, as I got to high school, I started realizing and shit like that, uh, people really fucked with what I was doing and how I was putting it together. So I say about 2016, I really just got mm -hmm. up and took that shit serious. Mm -hmm. That's when I first heard it, you know what I'm saying? Extent. Down in West Georgia and shit. Like, it boy came down like a real fucking superstar. Like, play my shit in all the functions, all the yeah, parties, my real. shit rocking. Like, shout out to that boy Johnny Paul's another 40 yeah, young yeah, pump for alumni. Man. That's what I'm saying. I love this yeah, shit. Like, put me on that Man, too. what? Like, People be so fucking connected and everybody knows somebody. Like Atlanta is everybody. so fucking small, even all the way out there in fucking Carrollton. Atlanta still stuck the fuck together, like type shit. Like, man, what? If you was from the city, you already had like automatic love type shit. And if you nah, was a real nigga real. off the jump, you was getting all the fucking love. Like I love that shit. Shout out to Johnny Pools for shit. And the crazy shit. thing is, when I before I came down there with that tape, I was actually living in Virginia for like three months. And I seen what that music was doing in Virginia. Like, that shit was going like crazy. Oh, yeah? So just the fact that when I came down to West Georgia, back to Atlanta, and that shit was doing the same thing. My was kind of crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? That really made me like, all right, I might keep going with this shit. Tell the folks where you from. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I moved a lot as a kid, just dealing with basketball and shit like that, and just dealing with my family. But uh, other than that, though, I'm from Atlanta. I'm from the west side of Atlanta, for sure. Real step around west side. Born and raised, west I side of Atlanta. It. I love it, I love it. Real city nigga, you know what I'm saying? Standing on your shit. I'm gonna yeah. fuck with y'all, cause y'all fuck with us, you know? That's but, a fuck. So what's been going on with you during the pandemic? Like, has it been a pandemic or has it been a pandemic for you? Oh, it's definitely been a pandemic for me. A okay. pandemic, you know what I'm saying? Niggas okay. is niggas is sick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Niggas been sick out there. You had COVID? Nah, hell no. I had COVID. For real? Earlier this year, nigga. Damn. That shit was nuts. Like January, early. Crazy thing is, I thought I was gonna get COVID. Naming my shit COVID Dope Boy. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But no, but she was, you know what's going on with you, real nah, flavor yeah, shit. Like I'm nah. fucking with that shit. Other than that, though, the pandemic was cool for me. You know what I'm saying? I stayed out the way, made my little ends meet. Kevin Original. The world opening back up now a little bit. Nah, for real. The world is we're opening back up. It's time for my music to drop. Niggas is outside. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's time to drop. Yeah. It's time to really, you know what I'm saying? Niggas you fresh had out a of whole year to yeah. motherfucking plot, plan, and, get your shit and prepare, right. motherfucker. We ready. Me as fans, 40 on Puff all, all the fucks that's fuck with music for real, we ready. We want to hear that shit. No, that's a fact. As an artist, you know what I'm saying, do you think it's important to, like, keep shit going? Like, I know you took a break for a minute. Like, I ain't even going home. I was upset. I, as a fan, nah, yeah, I, did. I, I, I had took a, a, I took a real break. Like, I where the music break. at, nigga? Yeah. But, like, why is that important, you know what I'm saying, as an artist to, like, take breaks? <laughs> I say with me, back? when it came to the break taking with me, it was a little bit more different. Cause I actually had to find my sound, like to an extent. Um, a lot of people loved the way I sounded, and you know what I'm saying. That was cool the way I sounded, but to me, it just wasn't like it wasn't it. Like I couldn't see that shit lasting for long. Like you know really? what I mean? I feel like that was some 
here right now, gone tomorrow shit. Like I was fucking with your sound. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kept telling me, like, you know what I'm saying, keep going, do what you do, but it was just something about my flow. Back then, I couldn't fuck with it. Yeah. Like, I had to really sit down with my mans, like, to try to figure it out, stomp it out the ground, you know what I'm saying? As we came to it, I started getting more chill on beats. Like, I don't know if you noticed, like, this Kobe Dope Boy, yeah. like, I'm more... Smooth and calm this down. Area more, um, but then back then I was all that yeah. Rowdy, you know what let's saying? do it, let's, let's party. You know what I'm saying? We jumping up and down, that type of shit. But that was the moment though. That was the time. That's the thing though. That was the moment. That was the energy that was putting out into the world. Everything was like fucking little Uzi Vert and shit. Niggas was going up. Migos and then like yeah, everybody wanted to fucking party. 2016. A lot of folks say 2016 is the best year they fucking life. Like, 2016 was dope for me. It like, showed me a lot. You know for what I'm saying? Real. But it's different, like you said, pandemic just happened, you know what I'm saying, you did take a break, so you wanted to come back with like, you know what I'm saying, music that, that touched you a little bit. Oh yeah, when, and the crazy thing is, when I took that, that when I, think, I think it was like two years when I took that little gap. Right. I came up with like seven tapes. I got like wow. seven mixtapes under me right now. Wow. COVID Dope Boy was just one. Just a little piece. That was the craziest sample. thing. I probably got two albums and five tapes. You plan on dropping any of this? You just gonna keep it for yourself? Oh no, no, I'm definitely gonna drop it. My next shit coming ASAP. But I've been having different label dealings, and you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, I've been feeling like they've been telling me how to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. necessarily telling me how to. Woo -woo -woo -woo. They've been showing me like, all right, what about if you go about it this way instead of just doing this, this, this? Try this, 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 this. Right. So with that being said, I'm gonna give it to them a different way. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna ease it into them. I'm not just gonna slap it in their face. Hit them with single, video, single, video. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You have more like a plan, right. more like a, a, a flow. Mm -hmm. I fuck with that shit. Like, you're taking sure. shit way more serious now because you know the power that you have. Let's talk about the early fucking stages. Let's right. talk about who the neighbors and motherfucking Max Payne. Some of my favorite. For real. Some of my favorite fucking like mute. Why do I like it, nigga? Because it was hard. It was. I still play this shit now. Twenty twenty one is still getting played, and I, when I play around people, they say, "Who the fuck is this?" So you don't doubt I can, it. I can vouch for you. That shit was like you. they like what? Well, damn. Yeah. Like yo yo. The way you approach the fucking beat and the way you fucking stepped on every fucking track. You made people shut the fuck up and like listen. Like who the fuck? You had some shit to say. You came with like urgency. See, you gotta understand when I made Who the Neighbors, I had fresh moved to Virginia with my man's just on some other shit. Like I, I think I had just dropped out of college on some shit. Yeah. And I didn't really know what to do, so I was like, shit. My man's going back to school for Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna go stay with him until he leaves just to get a new surrounder. Like. Right. He said he had a crib up there. He said, shit, bro. I actually stayed with somebody who a producer. I know you used to rap, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you feel about it still, but shit, I'm letting you know he, he make beats type shit, you know what I mean? So I'm like, shit, yeah, that's cool. And man, as soon as I get up there, you know what I'm saying, I hear him making beats, like as soon as I walk in the house, I probably say like two, three hours later, he come hit me, you know what I'm saying? We talking, we chopping it up. The nigga tell me straight up, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I really already heard you rap before. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a tape, to be honest with you. And I ain't never had nobody really just come to me like straight up like, look, you ain't got to put no money up, woo -woo, no none of this, woo -woo, let's make a tape, I got it all. That's cold. That's because he believed, he's seen that fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of made me like, all right, talent. let's do it. It was just coming out of you, like you couldn't hide it. But it was definitely all up to him, Mitty J, for sure, my producer, that nigga. Cold. Yeah, he the reason why I'm Shaking still going. Y'all so. folks make so, y'all music together is, is like... You should hear how many Peanut people tell me jelly. that, man. People like, tell me that all the time. They said we go together oh, like white on rice. You know what I'm saying? Man, y'all are made for each other. Like that's the that's the recipe though. Like as a as a as a rapper and like a producer, that's the way to go. You get in with your one and y'all fucking just break that shit open. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Future and Metro and the, like you know what I'm saying? That's like like that's the way to go. I love that shit. Shout out to that boy. Like yeah, that. that What's his guy. name? So is it Pyrex or right, is so it? So it used to be Pyrex. Right. We changed it to Midi J. Okay. So that's why when a lot of people okay. hear me say Midi J, they don't know who I'm talking about. Oh, oh. Yeah. Both of y'all. Both of the. Both of the <laughs> I know y'all the same person, but both of y'all. Right. Y'all niggas is cold. <laughs> I love that shit. Like for real. Okay. So who you make music for? If you had to like boil it down, who, who you make music for? I know it's cliche. Mm -hmm. I know everybody said. 
but I really make music for my family. They like my music genuinely. Like, that's I can pull up on any one of my family members and they play my shit. No, that's you not. Know what I'm you, saying? you say that's cliche. It's not. I ask people that niggas be like the hoes, my homeboys, right. myself. Like niggas not saying they fucking family. You're like you that's wrong. Cold. Like, I should like be told. It. Like it's been plenty of times I thought about man, fuck this. I'm not making no more music. Like. Mm -hmm. I, just, I mean, it's cool to me, but like, you know what I'm saying? But I got too many people that's built up behind me that want to see me do this shit. Like, like me. You know what I'm saying? You, you one of them for sure. Like me. Mitty J, one of them. Like, he day in, day out, like, on my ass about the music. So I ain't got no choice, but like, I got to do it. They expecting it. They expecting yeah, it. Yeah, I got to do it. For sure. I pull up to my mama house. She backing in the driveway. She blasting my shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pull up on my auntie. In Florida, she blasted my shit. What's that feeling like to have the support from your family? You know what I'm saying? Like, not really necessarily outside strangers, but like to know that yo, the people that you grew up with, the people that raised you, fuck with you the most, the strongest. What's that feeling like? It's a it's a good feeling. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But like people say, you know what I'm saying? Job ain't done. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my family to a better situation. I know like everybody else is. You know what I mean? But whether if it's just a minor such a minor uh, step up situation, you know what I'm saying? That's cool with me. It ain't always got to be about the millions and yep. woo, 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 woo. As long as I'm able to put my family in position to do what they got to do, man, shit, sure, we win. I love that if shit. The millions come with it. We, you know what I'm saying? We balling. Yeah. That's what it is. Lit for real. But look, I just want to be able to take life. care of myself and to help out my family. For Literally. life. That's why you I know do what I'm this shit. And with the opportunities that I've been given, shit, it's been happening. It's been happening. Talk about, um, I know this happened probably some time ago, but it just popped into my brain. Nigga, you was on, like you said, you was on fucking TV, right? Oh, yeah, uh, look, uh, B yeah. Movies. Yes, talk about it. How the fuck did that happen? Uh, my manager at the time, you know what I'm saying? He's still my manager, but I know he got other things going on right now for himself. But uh, my manager at the time, he was, his, uh, his mother real connected, you know what I'm saying? And she was, uh, music producer for a movie on BET. And uh, they needed a rapper, to be honest with you. They needed a rapper to come in, be in a couple scenes, rap with the main actor in the movie. The mm -hmm. main actor in the movie just happened to do music, so it was a music movie type mm -hmm. shit. Movie, yeah. So shit, they paid me a little little ends, you know what I'm saying, to come in and do a Ooh, little six, 16 Ooh. little bar verse. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. That shit look like you was supposed to be, like you was supposed to be the fucking star of the movie. Yeah, like, so many people shit. called me and tell me, like, bro, I just seen you on BET. Like, nigga, was that you? Real? Yeah. I was watching this movie on BET. Nigga, that you? Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm so. saying? Real casual, like, I already, <laughs> I'm already knowing, like, that shit is amazing. I like that shit. That shit like was that dope, shit. though. Um, COVID dope boy. COVID dope boy. The return. Boy. The return of Hefe. Two years. What's your favorite song up there? Shift and Change. That's the one I'm always telling you about. Show my viewers, because we don't know. Because you, you had to put me down. So look, he put he put me down on some um, some crazy shit. Real smoker so shit. So check it out, man. Real hot check it out, shit. check it out. She says she smoke. I watch the interviews. I get oh, high. Yeah. Ooh, dude. Yeah. I get high for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I smoke syringes. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing crazy. It's just wax in the syringe. You know what I'm saying? It's just wax in the syringe. So I put worms in the blunt type shit. It sound weird. sound funny. But if you can see it, kind of. It just got a little strip of little wax in it around the paper. So we're yeah. going to get high for sure. we going to get geek in the hot box. Put my phones down. Yeah, I like that definitely. shit. Definitely. My favorite song, um, COVID Dope Boy, is, I think it's Real COVID Dope Boy. That's Real COVID one. Dope Boy, that's the last one. Oh, we. You like that one? Oh, we. I took my time on that one. I can feel it. I could tell. It yeah, was like. I was kind of fed up type oh, shit. That shit was too cold. Mm, yeah. You had some shit to say. Like, you, it was like a story. It was like, sit down. Let me let y'all folks know a little piece of what's going on in my mind real quick. That's a fact. That was a, a amazing all outro. Was. Like that was an amazing close to the fucking um, project. Like, oh, okay. So let, do you? How do you put shit together? How do you put your fucking music and your projects together? Is it a team? Is it like a based off feeling? I want to let you know it ain't nobody but me and me to J. I love it. It ain't I nobody but me and me to J. Duo, you, know so, you don't need too many. With that being heads, said, too many opinions. When we put this music together, we sit down and really like 
we, we really sit down on this music. We, we had to run this bitch back about 40, 30 times for us to really be like, yeah, no, nah, that ain't it. We thought it was. The first 15 times we ran it back, we was in that bitch bobbing our head. Yeah. We got to the 30, we like, yeah, all right, I don't know. I don't know about mm -hmm. that one. You know what I mean? But like, we, we just really take our time. And some, most of the time when we make our music and we get done with it, man, we know which one's a bopper, which one's not. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's just that. Like, we've been doing this too long together. You know what I'm saying? Right. When the beat come on, like, he know what I like. You know what I'm saying? And I know I know what's going to keep him interested on that mic. You know what I'm saying? I can't just be sitting here saying some bullshit. He going to tell me. He gonna tell me, I gotta keep my guy going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For him to keep going with them beats. When me and them yo, you know, I, You gotta pipe him up just I gotta as keep much my guy as going. you know what I'm saying? He pipe you up. Right. You know? I love that shit. That's a fact. That's a, that's a big fact. Let's talk about the um the, the artwork, the cover art. How did you come up with like all the fucking little germs and shit around this shit? That shit cold. Would you believe me if I told you? Of course, because I know you want lots of me. It's me and Mitty J. Mitty J did that. Oh my God. You want to know who did uh, who the neighbor cover? Him? Mitty J did that. That shit cold as fuck. The little cartoon? Oh when my I say, God. When I said without him, I wouldn't be nothing. I just rap. Damn. I just rap. He do all the bad work. We should have had twin in the back seat. Like, yeah. what? Wow, shout out to that man Cause them fuck Y'all gotta go and look at that fucking cover art it's, Tell me That man. shit is important Tell me, when I say We was over here like Damn, bro, what we gonna do? COVID dope, boy How we gonna do this? We was like, shit, I don't know I think one day we just bust that Yo, we just took some photos on some shit He hit me like three days later With one cover art He like, shit, what you think about something like this? I'm like, yeah, shit, that's cool And then he sent another photo Like right behind it After I said, that's cool Mm -hmm. And it was the like the actual cover. I'm like, shit, boy. Going crazy. Yeah. So that was that was all him, man. I, I love the fact that he did that for me, man. That's he always come out the way. Though, like, man, I I love it. I love it. Like, that's a real partnership. Y'all folks don't need no extra shit, and y'all putting out real quality. It looked like you already got, you know, what I'm saying millions pushing behind you. Like that shit don't you look like so? no, man. Average, no, just. It don't put look like no average brush. joke. No, like in the music, you can tell, you know what I'm saying? You you really put effort in the shit. The production, that nigga cold with the production. I ain't even gonna lie. His beats are different. And you know how to approach that shit every time. Like I said, y'all folks, peanut butter and jelly. Y'all go yeah, I say he do all that shit from the mix and the mask and from all that shit. I told you, I just rap. I just I stand just up in front of the mic on. and then go sit back down. <laughs> He'll pass me the headphones. Oh, I promise. Man. That's dope. That's super dope. So you said you got like, you know what I'm saying, seven projects. When we gonna get something new? All right, so I actually got a video shoot. I'm gonna say tomorrow. Tomorrow for a little song I got, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give them like four videos. And I plan on hitting, hitting them with the tape like towards like fall, in the fall type shit, you know what I mean? Something like that. But I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna start giving it to them more. So this will be my first year giving them two tapes, you know what I'm saying, back to back type shit, you know what I mean? So, that being said, shit, I ain't got no choice but to go. I see they like it, I, I keep seeing how they gravitate towards it. You're a superstar, like, real deal in every sense of the word. Like I said, you got hella charisma. You got bars for days. Yeah, I appreciate it. You that. a bar nigga down. You a real you rapper so? ass nigga. <laughs> I'm not going. Like, you gonna rap for real. And you got flows. You think so? Style. One on one. Like, I'm, I'm a real fan. I, I've been tapped into your shit. So, I'm glad that I can put my viewers on to a real superstar right before you. And then the crazy saying? thing is, I don't, even look, I don't even think about it as bars. I promise you. I swear, crazy. if Mitty J was right behind me in that back seat, he had vouched for me, I swear to God. It'd be about three weeks later, I'd play a song back, and I'd be like, son, you heard what I said? You be yeah. so, because you be in the mode. Like, you don't I'm even telling. realize how fucking hard you be going, and you be fucking snapping. You don't even realize it. It's like having tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying? That's Tell like, you. I would compare it to a nigga being on the court and he just like going dumb like he just can't miss you know what i'm saying that I type of that. shit like you want that. you want to run like go ahead and after the game like damn nigga, i really had fucking 50 i really and yeah it'd be it'd yeah. be it'd be ups and downs yeah. with the shit though like because i made COVID dope boy and i don't even know 
I don't even know when I made COVID Doughboy, to be honest with you. I just know I made the the last song and the first song, like, maybe like a month before it dropped, probably. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All the other ones was just, I made over the, the last two years type shit. So, shifting change is really old. Like, you, you couldn't tell. It's old. You, you wouldn't be able to fucking tell. I ain't, I ain't do nothing to it. No redo, no nothing. I love that shit. I love it. Look, before we get out of here, let me let y'all folks know that this shit here, 40 on Pump 4, is sponsored by my very, very special people at Toka Leaf. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with them folks at Toka Leaf. They got black owned sponsors. They got their own fucking leaf, they own company. I love that shit. Also, tap in with my good folks over at Stone Egg Lemonade. Okay. Yeah, weed infused lemonade. You know what I'm saying? All different type of flavors, all different type of styles. This is a gift for you. Thank you for coming to the show. Oh, Definitely drink responsibly. That Shout shit. out to Stone Age Lemonade, man. man. what? Y'all folks going crazy all the way up in D.C. My brothers, I love it. I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, We're going to pull up in this. So, you talk about what's next. Look, let me get some shout outs. Who you know is going to be watching this? You know what I'm saying? People that's helped you along the way. Go ahead and let them know. Yeah, man, I can say, man, shout out to the old flips, uh, where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Mitty J for show. Shout out to everybody who listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Shout out to One Breezy, shout out to 40 on Pump 4, you know what I mean? Uh, it's everybody, man, my family. It's, it's too many to name, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Real Stepper, Hefe Global, and pulled up 40 on Pump 4. Another fucking episode. What's your contact information? What can people get? You know what I'm saying? Y'all can all find me on IG, Hefe yeah. Glow. The mm -hmm. only Hefe Glow. The only one. The one and only. Mm -hmm. And um, all your music is on all streaming platforms, of course. You know? All streaming platforms, for sure. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Another superstar, Young Breezy. You can't say that I'm not bringing you the stars. It's right in your face. I'm telling you. And, and my fucking favorite song that came out as we ended. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it. 40 on pump for you know what I'm saying? We gonna vibe out, you know what I'm saying? We with this wax. I'ma see how high I'ma get. And uh, another episode. Young Breezy, we out. Are you